Okay, guys, Buck here in my mess of the studio. I, like, I get a lot of questions from people about how to do this, so uh, I'm going to do another video on this here, here real quick. Uh, how to use main stage and how do you change patches and how do you keep it organized. So real quick, this particular rig I'm using is a uh, uh, Studio Logic uh, SL88 Grand and then uh, SL Mix Face. And that's it. And uh, all the sounds are being generated by main stage. So this is a show I'm working on. In fact, I'm going to do this very show tomorrow night. Um, and the first thing I do is uh, I build a couple generic patches and I put them right here and I put them in a generic uh, folder. I know they call those folder sets, but just think of them as folders because I don't use them as sets. Uh, in, in fact, I think well, long story, I think they need to call those songs. They need to have a hierarchy that goes concert, sets, songs, patches. Instead, they only have concerts, sets, and patches, which uh, is half the problem here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll build uh, a set here that has, or a folder that has generic patches that are fully mapped out so that if I need an organ or one of the two pianos, and sometimes there'll be other things in there like uh, electric pianos or Wurlitzers or things that I commonly use in whatever that specific show is, and I'll grab them in there. And then if I need them later in the show, like say, for example, let's see, Hurts So Good. All I use is an organ on that. This is the same patch as this one up here. I just uh, pasted it as an alias. So it's, uh, you know, you go Control C to copy it, and then Option Command, I'm sorry, Command uh, C to copy it, then Option Command V to paste as an alias. So that patch is the exact same patch. It doesn't use up any more uh, uh, memory. Actually, that one I may have rememorized because you can see it actually does use a little bit of memory. Yeah, I think I may have actually edited that one and not renamed it, but you can see how that works. Um, same thing for, let's see, find something that just has piano on it. Uh, so China Grove. Um, yeah, there you can see. So these are Keyscape uh, pianos that are showing zero uh, memory usage, and that's because they are uh, they are aliases of the patch that is whoops up here. Okay, so how do I get from patch to patch? Well, when I build a song, I, for example, this one has a lot of patch changes. Burning for you. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of these patches are exactly the same patch. And the reason is, is because every time I hit a different scene or, or passage, I just hit my pedal and, excuse me, hit the pedal, and the pedal makes it switch each patch forward, okay? So, um, uh, like for the entrance of the song, you know, I got the this one patch, the... Oh, I don't have the speakers on, so you can't hear it. Sorry. Um, uh, but that patch, anyway, happens a couple times in the song. If you're over here in Setup, what I have for this is a Nord... Uh, it's not the Nord. It's the SL88 triple pedal, which I actually think is almost the same as the Nord, since they seem to make things for Nord. But what I have is this is uh, going to be programmed to be sustained. This is pedal ad or program advance, and this is program backwards. So you can see in the setup, if I go over here and I go to setup, uh, layout, excuse me, uh, layout for that pedal, um, it is channel one, press release. It's I put it on 66 since I never used Sostenuto. And then this pedal over here is going to be uh, 67 soft pedal, which is another thing I never use in a rock concert. So what I've done is at the... Come on. At the concert level here, I have mapped that pedal to be Action's next patch. And I have uh, mapped that pedal to be previous patch. Um, and then that's how I, honestly, that's how I do 99% of all patch changes in a show. And I know some people are like, hey, really use a pedal for everything? Once I switched over to this system, I can't go back. I could never switch patches by hand um, almost anymore. If I have to skip a song or something, then yes, I will come up here to the computer and select whatever song we're going to by hand and then play it. But 
Um, if you don't have a pedal like this, you can program any pedal to do it. And another rig of mine, what I use is this. And I don't have it powered up right now, so you can't see it. This pedal is a bit overkill. They make cheaper versions of it. Morningstar makes ones with less buttons that cost less money. But all you do is this, you can program any button on this to send any MIDI CC message. It's really pretty painless. And uh, so you can, and you can have it on any channel too. So you could send it from, uh, you know, uh, uh, program these buttons to be anything on there and, and set them to be the previous patch, next patch. So when I typically use this in my rig, I will have uh, this button as next patch and this button as previous patch if I overshoot. Or sometimes if it's a song that only has two repeated back and forth, I just won't go through the pain of copying it six times. I'll just go forward and back. Um, okay, that, that's how I do it. And I, I'd highly recommend it. Once I switch to my method over to ch always changing patches with my feet, the way that Mainstage seamlessly, I mean, it, it just changed the way everything was. It is so much quicker, so much faster. And then if you organize your your list like this, yeah, it's a lot of folders, but when I get a set list from a band leader, I already have all my songs. I don't need to change anything. I just re reorder the names of the songs and then I throw the set list away uh, because that is my set list right there. If we get out of order or something, um, or if we're just jamming, I'll have my generics patches up here. For most shows, that's a bigger set of things that I can use to just kind of jam out with. But anyway, that's how I organize it. Uh, there's more than one way to skin that cat, and I've seen some smart people do it different ways, but uh, I copied a couple smart people, and that's what I ended up with. Hope it works for you.